Okay, now we're going to talk about the uh, the get function. Just to retrieve a value in the dictionary. Now you'd ask why do you need the get function? Can't you just put your brackets and then put in the value you want to retrieve from a dictionary? Okay. But the, this is the answer. So we normally can specify the key in a square bracket to retrieve the value for the key. But if the key does not exist, an error is usually thrown. So for example here, let's uh let's try out this so here we I have a dictionary of 0 with a key 0 1 2 3 now what if I wanted to get the value at key 5 it doesn't exist so if I would run this code it's going to give me an error that the value does not exist so it's a key error now usually the way you could usually solve this problem you could solve this problem by using a, a try except block so if you come into the try except block, you would say, okay, fine, now try this. If the kid is not there, except print this part. You, you could specify the error type and put there, put here key error, but I'm just going to keep it simple and leave it like that. So since 5 does not exist, it's going to print for me does not exist. So if I run this code and print, um, sorry, uh, this one was still there. Let's delete it out. So if you delete out that, then you print. It's going to print for your back. Print does not exist. That's because the key 5 does not exist. Now this is a lot of work. So what you could do, you could use the get, the get function, which allows you to use a default value if the key in the dictionary does not exist. So for example here, my dictionary is called number dict. Now I'll try to get 5. Now if 5 does not exist, I would like it to give me back this value 5. That's if it does not exist. If it exists, then it should not be able to give me back 5. But since 5 does not exist, it's going to give me back 5, which is going to be stored in X. And I'm going to print it out. So if I run it, you can see that it uh, gave me back 5. So that is how you would use the get function on a dictionary. So it's usually used mainly because uh, if you're not sure that the value you want will actually be in the dictionary. So even though you're not sure, the value you want you should always put those safeguards in case there are some vulnerabilities in your program so you always put those safeguards so that is um, how you would use the get function